Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to set custom text in War Thunder. It's really, really simple, I'll show you guys how to do it. First off, you want to go to your War Thunder folder. I have a shortcut right here, it's installed in Steam, so I just go right to it and then I can just go to right, right to War Thunder. For you guys though, it might be in a different spot, it all depends how it, uh, where how you installed it and where you installed it. Once you get to your folder, you want to go to config.blk. It might just say config for you. I have extensions turned on, so it says .blk for me, but for you it might not. You want to go ahead and open that up with Notepad, which it should be by default, but in some cases it's not. Go down to debug right here. Find the last line, hit enter, and add this line right down here. I put this line in the description for you guys to so just copy and paste. All you want to do then is save it, go to War Thunder, open up the launcher, or however you want to launch the game, and press play. Wait for the game to boot up, probably wait like 3 to 4 seconds after it boots up, and then you can just close it right away. Alt F4, however you want to close it. So it's been a few seconds, I can go ahead and close it. And now, what you want to do is scroll up, don't, don't leave this folder, scroll up, until you find lang which is right here you want to open that up and in here is every bit of text so let's say we want to change i don't know uh target destroyed that would be a menu right here right click on it open with you want to open it with a wordpad not notepad wordpad notepad has some uh formatting issues wordpad's a lot more straightforward and we'll just want to do let's do Control f and search for target destroyed just like that okay we'll change that to uh, yoinked there we are and we'll find any other ones change that to yoinked and I believe that's it now there's a few more but these are all scouted targets destroyed for tanks so there we go we want to then go ahead save we can close out of it and it should be set. If you go to open up War Thunder now, you can go hop into a test flight real quick and make sure it works, which I'll do right now, and I'll show you guys that it does indeed work. All right, so now I'm in the game. Let's go find the vehicle over here that we can destroy. You can loop it over and make sure that it works. Let's line ourselves up, fire a few shots off, bit short, pew, 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 pew. And there we go, it says yoinked. It's as simple as that to do. So now, there's all sorts of different things. If you want to say, change, I don't know, the CL13 to cancer, or something like that, whatever you want. This right here, for example, this is vehicles, units right here, this is vehicles. This would be modifications, this would be weapons, achievements, all sorts of stuff, it's all here. Now I don't know what all of these are, but I'm sure if you want to spend some time, you can go through each one and figure out what's where and you can change it around one thing to note however is that when a new patch drops for example 1.85 is coming out just around the corner when 1.85 drops the text that you have will be fine but any new vehicles any new text that was added will be bugged it will say something like i don't know uh the mig 19 for example will be like mig underscore 19 underscore pt it won't say mig dash 19 pt the only way to fix that that I know is you have to go ahead and delete the language file and then um, rerun it with that little script in the config and that will make a new language file and then you got to do it all over again. There might be a quicker way to do it but not that I know of. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video though. Hope you guys found this somewhat useful. I'm not that great at these guides but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.